Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to DIY Art Blood. So today I'm gonna make a very nice sunflower painting. So let's start with the material that I'm using here. So I am using this canvas panel. Now, if you like to know where I got all the supplies, I'm gonna put the link down there below. And I'm gonna be using acrylic paint today. So these are the color I'll be using. Orange, green, yellow, red, white, black, and brown. Make sure you have a cup of water. If you are painting with me, I always uh, say you can also paint with me because these uh, video are literally step by step. All right, so now uh, these are the brushes I am going to be using, but you don't have to use the same brush that I am using. If you want to know the number, you can just pause the video where I'm showing this number. But uh, yeah, these are the brushes I'll be using, but you don't have to use this uh, same brushes. All right, so first step for this painting, I am applying water everywhere on my canvas. So every time I paint on a canvas, I always, always apply a little bit of water. As you can see, uh, it's okay if you miss some of the spot. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered with the water. Just a little water will help us to spread this paint easily. All right, so let's start with the one part. Here I'm using a little bit of red and a little bit of white and blending those colors as you can see on my canvas. Now, if you are not comfortable this way, you can also mix your colors on your plate if you want to. So right now I'm only focusing on covering my whole canvas. As you can see, I'm using like very rough um, brush strokes. Like I'm not following any um, any uh, brush strokes here all right so now the next part is uh, i'm making some of the area more darker some of the area more lighter so wherever i want to make more darker i'm taking more red there and wherever i want to make it more lighter i'm taking more white and less red if that makes sense so after we are done with this part we will gonna add a very nice texture i'll show you a very easy way so we need to do this part a little bit quicker so that these colors uh, don't dry and the next part is going to be a little easy to do it. So let's just do this one first. Alright, so now I'm going to create that very nice texture I'm talking about. So here I'm not taking any paint. All I'm doing is uh, whatever I have left on my brush. I'm just going to use my brush. I didn't clean my brush or anything. Alright, so I'm using a very simple shape, which is nice big X. I mean, small X. So uh, as you can see, I'm starting from one side of my canvas. And by adding axis, I'm going the other side of the canvas. And I'm going to repeat that um, from top to bottom all the way down uh, so here i'm just gonna do that very quickly i'm just gonna fast forward this video because it's a very simple step but it's gonna take a little time so as you can see it's creating that nice uh, texture that i'm talking about you can see the difference between the top area and the bottom area now and i'm using this same brush to do this part but in case if you want to make this process a little bit faster more quicker you can use um maybe bigger brushes bigger brush if you want to or you can just apply a very simple uh, strokes which is left and right uh, in, and you will get slightly different texture but that's also going to make this process a little bit quicker. Alright so here I'm all done let me show you this. Um, as you can see here it's almost look like a mermaid uh, skin i guess so uh that's why i like that texture but that's okay you're not gonna see this whole texture whenever we are done with this painting but before i started painting this i draw these flowers wherever wherever i want to place my flower so that i get more idea like how i really want to like place off my flowers my leaves and stuff like that so have a little plan i guess don't you don't really need it to be honest if you are just following me but um my plan is to add a nice little pod like small one very small one down here and then i'm gonna add uh just at least two flowers for now but i'm gonna be adding one more later so total i'm gonna add three some flowers all right so now i'm gonna start adding just a basic outline and for this i actually am using this yellow paint and um 
smallest brush it's a number zero brush okay so now here i'm taking a, just a little yellow little by little and just adding just a kind of a basic outline for the pot this is where and how the shape is gonna look like in case if you don't like any of this yellow line um what you can do is just apply a little bit more red or white on top of it and it's very easy to hide this uh, lighter color that's why i always use um i like to use a little lighter color whenever i'm making outline in case if you don't want to use a pencil you can also use a pencil if you want to all right so now here i started adding a nice uh, basic shape of uh, sunflower it's a very basic simple uh, leaf shape i mean the petal shape which is something like this maybe if you want to practice on a paper first and then try it on canvas uh, it's a good idea <laughs> all right so now um I'm not counting how many I'm adding, I don't count. I'm just gonna add um, as much space as much I like have it on my area here. Okay, so after you add that little circle for the center and after I'm done adding all those paddles, I'm I still have some space in the background. So I'm adding just one more pattern in the back. So something like this. And then I'm just gonna add one more sunflower here. Uh, I always say this, you don't have to make any flower all the same size. I mean, you can create uh, all different size, shape, size, um, as like however you like to. And um, as you can see, I also like um, to overlap the bottom of the jar that I have here. So I also overlap that too because uh, I don't want to show my the jar whole the top outline you don't want to i don't know if you know what i'm saying but if that make any sense or not but um yeah i really want to make my flowers those are like leaning down a little bit so that's what i'm trying to do here all right now here i'm all done adding my flower now all i'm gonna do is cover my whole sunflower with the yellow color and uh the small brush was a little bit hard to use it because i have to cover like more space so i'm using just a little um bigger brush than that small brush so again you can use definitely any brush it doesn't make any difference uh, it, what brush you use as long as you cover that area all right so now uh, as you can see i make a little mar mark x mark on the jar area because i'm going to use a different color there so um yeah Okay, so back to small brush and I take a little bit of uh, orange. Now I'm going to work on the petal that are in the back. Okay, so here I'm just adding like a little touch of uh, orange. I am not completely covering all the yellow, just maybe a little touch of uh, this orange on um, just a little on the back of the petal. So what this is going to do is gonna separate all of the petals that we have on this sunflower and also gonna give a little definition of uh, the outline i mean of the sunflower if that makes sense. okay so uh, i'm not saying that i am cleaning my brush but whenever i'm changing color i'm cleaning my brush so i clean my brush and take a little bit brown here and uh, now i'm gonna work on all of the petals and do this kind of outline now this is going to be a little tricky part because our yellow and orange is still kind of a little wet so you really have to go at least like a couple times so the more you go it's going to be more darker so on some petal i go one time as you can see right here and on some petal i go maybe a couple more times so now it depends on how darker you want to create if you want to make it more darker you can um go right now with the couple layers or maybe after everything's dry and you are done with your painting uh, that is also going to be a good time to do the second layer there all right so now here i'm adding the center of the flower and it's a very simple shape it's a nice little circle there okay and then i just add a little bit of white dots there now again i'm not saying i'm cleaning my brush but whenever i'm changing my colors i am cleaning my brush all right so i clean my brush and i'm just taking this orange and then i'm just adding like this kind of a couple lines on the petals those are in the front so something like this i'm just um this has to be like too perfect because it's, 
abstract painting, right? So um, uh, here I'm just adding uh, just a couple lines on those bigger petals. All right, and then I'm just gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna add one more color here. So after I did this part, I recommend to use just a plain white if you want to. That's also a good idea. But if you don't want to use just a plain white, I actually am using a little bit lighter yellow. So for this, I'm taking equal, almost equal amount of white and yellow. So again, I recommend to use just a white if you can, if you want to. But see how this color show up on your painting and see if you want to use a lighter color. So just like I did with the orange, I'm just adding like one or two lines like that on almost all of the petal, to be honest. All right, so I'm all done with that color on the petal. Now I feel like my center of the flower is still kind of a little lighter. So I'm just adding more white dots in the center. All right, so let's repeat this same thing one more time. So I'm going to fast forward this part because it's almost the same thing. Add a nice outline of your sunflower and then fill it up with the yellow color and then add orange and then add orange line and again same thing like i did with the first sunflower All right, so yeah, I'm all done. Now I'm gonna move on to my next part, which is uh, like working on that jar area. So you can use definitely any color you like to, maybe make it like a glass jar if you want to. But um, I don't know why I use this color, but I really like the way how it turned out. So first I'm gonna do the outline like this using white paint and I'm using bigger brush. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fill everything inside like this. If you are not comfortable doing this way, you can also create your color on a, like a paper plate or your, on your palette. But I directly add this little bit of black on my white here and then blending these colors as I go. Because uh, I don't really want to add like one gray color there. So that's why I really want to have like different shades of this gray color. So that's why I do it this way. So... Um, as I need, I'm just adding more black here and I'm also going to be adding a little bit of white too. All 
all right so i'm just gonna switch back to my small brush again and then i'm just gonna do like very quick outline like this um it's okay it doesn't have to be like perfect perfect outline i'm just randomly like <laughs> to be honest i'm just adding like this kind of a line there and also add couple line inside that jar area just maybe for the shadow i guess all right so now i'm gonna move on to my next part which is adding some leaves some green here so i'm using my small brush and adding a nice big stems coming out of uh, behind that flowers so um yeah i just add that nice stamp and then it was a little bit quick i mean trickier to use a small brush so that's why i switched back to my like this middle round brush actually i didn't show you this earlier but it's a number i believe like half but yeah i'm using this one okay so that's why i always say this like you don't have to use the brush that i'm using just whatever is comfortable for you all right so now i'm using a very nice simple shape for these leaves i'll show you in a second but um you can add as many as uh, you think you want to but i feel like more green is better i don't know why but um yeah okay so now let me show you a very simple shape that i'm doing here like something like this one side and the other side like that so yeah you can also practice a little bit on the paper for this part if you want to and trust me this is the easiest part in this painting so from now uh, you can definitely follow me wherever you have uh, space and wherever i'm adding you can add your leaves your um other leaves that i'm gonna be adding in a second uh, but yeah so all i'm saying is uh, you can follow me if you like to or you can create your own place leaves i mean wherever you want to place your leaves you can also do that you don't have to like completely follow me for this part because um we all added a different size of flower and we all have different shape i mean different space so um yeah wherever you have space you can just uh, add your leaves here there all right so um i believe you already see the picture <laughs> on my um video here i mean where how the painting is gonna turn out right so i actually i'm also gonna be placing one more flower on top so in case if you don't want to add these leaves there you can skip that part And after I was done placing all of my leaves, now I'm gonna add a little touch of yellow and also a little touch of white. So all I'm doing is just using that same brush and uh, just using the tip of my brush and then I'm just adding like this kind of a little line there, just on the one side of the leaf. And I'm doing this on all of the leaves uh, I have on my painting here. And I repeat that same thing with the white. So if you bring your jar all the way to the bottom of the canvas, you don't have to do this part. Um, all I'm doing is just adding like little green and some yellow, like adding some like horizontal like lines. So something like this. I mean, um, I'm doing this because I want to make it looks like it's a, that's a surface area where my glass is sitting and some of the leaves and flowers petals are falling down so something like that okay so now i also wanted to add a little bit of a uh, different kind of a flower but i don't know the name to be honest so uh, i'm just adding a little bit of white dots not i mean not little bit whole lots of white dots so something like this um 
I'm using that same big brush and just adding like tiny little dots everywhere wherever I feel like and I'm gonna do the same thing with a couple more colors yellow and a little bit of red so if there are anything else you want me to try painting next time uh, let me know in the comment I'd love to get some more ideas so um and again, I know that my English isn't perfect. So I know some of you are saying, why are you saying this? Why are you saying this? This is, uh, you should pronounce these things this way. I know that. But thank you so much still for watching my video. And I hope you at least get a basic idea of what I'm saying sometime. But um, yeah, so thank you so much. And as I'm making more videos, as I'm explaining you more, uh, I am learning. So I know I one day I will make a perfect uh, like not a perfect there is nothing perfect right so I will try to just improve myself all right so now if you like to you can stop right here but you know for me it's very hard to stop so sometimes i just keep adding more and more and more stuff so um i feel like something is still missing so that's why i add one more flower <laughs> and um i'm just gonna fast forward this part because it's basically same thing like i did with the first flower that i made so yeah So since I made one more flower, I feel like uh, I also want to add some more leaves. So that's why wherever I can find place, I am just gonna keep adding more and more leaves here because um, I feel like uh, I really want to add more green here. So yeah. So here I'm just making. Uh, so I'm adding some of the stems for some of the leaves and also adding some more leaves around. And I really like these uh, three flowers than to pluff two flowers here. So, but it really needed some more green. So that's why um, I was just uh, added. I mean, I just add more, more uh, leaves in the background because um, I don't know for some reason I really like. Uh, to add this kind of uh, leaves i mean i am working on cards right now christmas cards <laughs> and i created um around 200 christmas card for my like first christmas craft show that coming in october so that's why i added like i make so many like leaves uh, i'll show you i'm gonna i'm making a video on that so don't worry i'll show you what i really mean but um i don't know so that's why i'm adding more this kind of leaves here um and it really looking very nice so that's why all right so i'm gonna stop right here stop talking because i know uh, some of you are still working and i don't want to distract you and again i'm adding just a little touch of more yellow and white but that's all i'm gonna do here and i'm almost done with done with this painting So again, if you have any other idea you want me to try next time, let me know and happy fall you guys. I am very excited about this colorful uh, season and I love to see all these colors and I'll be creating more fall paintings. So yeah. All right. So again, uh, yeah, I'm still working. I mean, um, if you guys really enjoy watching this video and maybe you learned something, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are if you want to see more of this kind of a step-by-step -step video and i will see you next time and thank you so much for painting with me and 
have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and i will be posting one more video very soon i know i was a little late this time because i was working on my crafts show so i'm back on track and i'm I will be posting more videos soon. Alright, so thank you so much guys. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!